Hey learners, Miss Chris here, and today we're learning all about spiders. So click on that subscribe button and follow me. All right, let's hop into the jungle and see what we can find. We'll be talking about large spiders, small spiders, and of course, all of their different characteristics. <gasps> Ooh. Let's see. Ooh, yuck. All right, well, what's the first thing we notice about this spider? How many legs does it have? Eight, yes, eight legs. Spiders or arachnids are known for having four pairs of legs, two each. So all together, eight legs. All right, let's keep looking, see what else we can find. And again, make sure you have your very best listening ears on today because at the end, we are going to ask some questions to make sure you are listening throughout today's adventure. All right, we found a whole bunch here and it's important to note that there are over 38 thousand different species of spiders. That's a lot of different types of spiders. And they are closely related to scorpions, ticks, and mites. Those are the other types of arachnids. So let's see. Oh, there they are. Scorpions, ticks, and mites. But spiders are special all on their own. So let's get back to chatting about our spiders. Ooh, what is this one working on here? Ooh putting his two little front feelers together. We know that spiders are extremely famous for building these beautiful, intricate webs, but how? How do spiders make those webs? And do all spiders make webs? No, some spiders catch their prey on their own. Prey is another word for the food that they get to nourish themselves. So let's see which spiders make their webs and which don't. Let's see if we can find a web being made. Oh, look at that big, beautiful spider web. They're known for being very strong. Some people say it's material that is strong as steel. Let's see. So how do they make these webs? Spiders produce silk from their spinneret glands, which is located at the tip of their abdomen or belly. It becomes this solid thread after it pushes out of its body. So what do these spiders or arachnids like to eat? What can they trap in their webs? Let's see if we can find one having a snack. Oh, this one caught a little something. So most spiders feed on insects. But we'll talk about tarantulas today and those big huntsman spiders. And I think you'll be very surprised to hear about what they eat. Look at this one. It's wrapping its prey up in its silk. Now, the, what I think is the most fascinating thing about spiders is they're the only animal that digests its food outside of its body. So what the spider is doing right now, it's captured its prey and then it covers its prey with its digestive juices. The juices slowly break down the prey's body into a liquid form. And then when it's liquid, the spider goes and sucks up the juices. And then spiders repeat this process many times until they eventually digest most of their prey. Oof. My goodness. All right, let's find some of our favorite spiders. I'm gonna show you one. You tell me if you know which one it is. Oh, I've got a big hairy one that likes to go on my hat. Where is it? There it is. Oh, yucky, yucky, yucky. Does anyone have a pet tarantula? I'm not brave enough, but I still think they are pretty cool. There is our tarantula. Okay. All right. So on average, it will take a spider about 60 minutes to spin a web. That's a long time. Tarantulas move slowly on their eight hairy legs, but they are accomplished nocturnal predators. Nocturnal means that they're active at night and they sleep during the daytime. So these again, they do not spin webs. Insects are their main prey, but, ooh, let's see if I can find it. They have some very interesting other prey. <gasps> what else do they like to eat? Frogs, toads, and even mice. Oh, that mouse is so cute. Sorry, buddy. All right, so those are some of the other things tarantulas like to eat. And they are burrowers, which means that they typically live in the ground. All right, let's get to one of our big famous spiders. The Huntsman Spider! Look at that big, big guy! All right, let's see. Where do they like to live? 
They like warmer climates, so we'll find huntsman spiders in Australia, New Zealand, and even Hawaii, southern Florida, and parts of Japan like Okinawa. What do huntsman spiders like to eat? They like to eat lizards, other spiders, and even cockroaches. Ugh, no thank you. Well, I'm glad the huntsman spider is here to do it for us because no thank you. All right, let's learn some more about our friend the huntsman spider, shall we? All right, they are gray or brown in color, which helps them to camouflage with rocks and trees. These are giant, fast, and famous for hunting down these different types of prey. And they have pincer-like claws in front of their mouth called calicera. Ooh, we've got a good zoomed in image of this, don't worry. Oh, there those are. That's the calicera. Hey. And those calicera are what hold the target still while they inject their venom. And the huntsmen, like we said, they live in all of those warmer climates. So if you're somewhere cold, you don't have to worry about this big guy because they are big. There's a giant huntsman, which is as long as 1.8 inches in length and has a 12 inch leg span. Oof. Let's see if I can find all of the different huntsman pictures. Oh. Ugh, can you see how big it is? Look at that on the windowsill. Oh my goodness, that is a big spider. Mm, if you're a big fan of spiders, you might like seeing that. Miss Chris, no thank you. All right, let's find some more spiders. All right, here's another one weaving its beautiful web, taking its time to make that intricate design so that the insects will crawl along get stuck in it and then it can wrap it up spit its digestive juices on it melt it down and then suck it up pretty incredible process huh all right learners we are back and now we are at the q a segment so let's see if you have those listening ears on let's see if you are ready to answer some of our questions about spiders numero uno question number one how many species of spiders are there do you remember from earlier today 38,000. Yes, there are 38,000 different species of spiders and they are found all across the world except for Antarctica. So unless you live in Antarctica, there's a pretty good chance you've got spiders near you. All right, question number two. Do all spiders make webs? No, not all spiders make webs. Some of the ones we learned about today, like huntsman spiders and tarantulas, do not make webs to catch their prey. Number three, how, this has a kind of a trick in there, how many pairs of legs do spiders have? Not how many legs do they have, how many pairs of legs do they have? Four pairs. They have four pairs of two each for eight legs in total. So they have four pairs of legs. Tried to trick you, very good. What are three other arachnids. We learned that spiders are a type of arachnid. Do you remember the three others? Mites, ticks, and scorpions. Nice listening. All right, number five. What gland produces silk for the spider? The spinneret glands. Very good. All right, number six. What is one prey animal for the tarantula. You could have said frog, toad, or mouse. They eat all of those, very good, and more, but those are the ones we went over today. How about the huntsman spider? Question seven, what is one prey animal that the huntsman gets? Cockroaches was one, anything else? Lizards, very good. All right, last question, this is a tough one. What are the pincer-like claws which hold prey still while a spider injects venom? Calicera. You got that one? Excellent. Nice listening today, friends. I hope you had a great, great time learning and come back and visit soon.